What's up everybody, my name is Lehua and welcome to the Superfina channel. I am a whole A variety content creator, host of podcasts across worlds, and I stream on twitch.tv slash Lehua Superfina. Today we are reviewing the Saints Magic Power is OP and if you like anime reviews, don't forget to subscribe and the bell so you'll be notified on the next upload and if you'd like to support the channel, we got channel membership and Patreon, link to those are below. We are reviewing the Saints Magic Power is OP episode 10, this was an amazing episode. And the title was so misleading. I had no idea what the episode was going to be about. And the title is called Diary. I was like, what's the diary about? Whose diary? Is this going to be like a flashback thing? I didn't know where this was going. And then I saw this first scene. And it was Say and Albert arriving in the closet domain. I was like, yes, it's not a flashback. Yes, but what's with the diary? And it turns out the diary belonged to the great alchemist who was from the Klausner domain. And the diary has some information that was going to help say the great alchemist was able to use a type of power, a blessing. And we knew it was related to say because the great alchemist, the power that they were using, had golden sparkles. We are getting closer to how to control the saint's country, how to help the rest of the land, the kingdom. They is going to have a better idea how to utilize her power. I do want to point something out from the diary of the great alchemist. It seems like the great alchemist was a native of this world because in the diary she was talking about, yes, the great alchemist was a she. She was talking about how the classroom domain, the land was becoming barren, there was famine, and then there was a disease. The great alchemist was trying to find a cure to save her little brother. So I was wondering if the great alchemist was a saint, how come they had to be summoned? <laughs> I was wondering about that. I was like, okay, why couldn't they have fine? a saint in this world and I'm wondering was they summoned because they couldn't find a saint in their world so they had to summon one to get a saint if you guys know the answers or you have some theories let me know in the comments another thing I was wondering are saints usually really inquisitive or they have like a passion for things that are related to magic and such like the Greek alchemist wants to find a cure. She was into making potions and such. So is Say. Say's also into <laughs> making potions. If the great alchemist was a saint, I find that it's a huge coincidence that they both are into making potions. Or it could be a unique trait to a saint. Besides that, what we learn from the diary is the great alchemist, she was trying to find a cure for her brother. So she kind of did find a cure. The only thing is the herbs, the ingredients to make the potion, the cure, she couldn't grow them because the land was barren. She couldn't grow the herbs. And so she was desperate. She really wanted to cure her brother. That motivation, that hope to help her brother seemed to be what drove to the power of blessing that let the great alchemist cast the blessing to make the land fertile again so she can cultivate and harvest the herbs to create that cure for her brother. This seems to be a pattern. I think it's a pattern because when Stay was able to cast St. Conjury, every time she cast it, she was thinking of helping people she loved. For the first time in Herb Garden, she was thinking about everyone around her. The second time, she was in the expedition and Albert got hurt, she casted it. So it's like, okay, she is trying to help people she cares for. Same thing as the great alchemist. This theory that the Saint Country is driven by the want, the desire to help those you care about is sort of confirmed in the last part of the episode where they learns that the mercenaries and the knights were hurt by monsters or attacked by monsters. So Say was helping the mercenaries, healing them, and then she heard about the knights. And the only knights she knew of were Albert Hawks and his 
Order of Knights. She's like, oh no, what happened to them? She ran for the knights and she saw that some of them were hurt. And then there's this part where there's a group of knights surrounding someone and there's Albert Hawk sitting there with his head down. And you're like, oh no, Albert. And she runs towards him. He has got blood all over his torso. It's like, dang, he got hurt really bad. And so he's like, no, I need to help him. And she just sees him with his head down, blood all over. And she's like, no, I can't lose him. Well, she didn't say that, but that's what it looks like she was saying. She's like, please help. And she invokes the St. Conjury again. Lots of golden magic sparkles going on. Like, it was an explosion. It, was, it looked like a burst of star. Like, whoosh. And... We know that she wanted to help Albert. She's like, we must save Albert. Please save him. Help. And then it turns out Albert wasn't really her. He was just covered with blood. And then the golden sparkles just died down. And it's like, oh, false alarm. <laughs> because we saw the same conjure again, we have Stay and Albert conversing trying to figure out how it happened, why it was happening. And Albert's like, oh, it seems like it only comes up when you want to help people. And she's like, oh, I don't think it's that. And she like recalls what she was thinking whenever the golden sparkles came about. And she came to a conclusion that it was Albert. He was the focus. And she like holds her heart. She's like, oh, and then she like bends over like she's embarrassed. She's like, oh no, I was thinking about Albert. I love Albert. I care for him. And she's looking at him and Albert's like, say, you okay? She's like, yes, I'm okay. I'm okay. And she's embarrassed and she doesn't want to tell him that the Saint Conjury manifested because she was always thinking about him. It was like, oh, it's cute. After that, it changes to a scene with Corinne holding the great alchemist's diary and there's like a narration with the great alchemist saying that the blessing was love it was the power of love and not gonna lie when i first heard that i was like really it made me think of sailor moon because there's like a song when i watched a sailor moon movie it was like you got to believe in the power of love it made me think of that and i was like really really but, 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 you know what? It works out for the story because you think about it throughout the episode, we're really seeing interactions between Say and Albert. We saw Albert carrying Say's hand as she was getting out of the carriage. We saw Albert and Say walking down through the hallway after dinner under the moonlight. It was a romantic setting. Then we see Say and Albert talking to each other. And then we see Say worried about Albert. And then she goes to try to heal him again. And then we see Say doing flashbacks about all her interactions with him. And then we see Say and Albert talking to each other on the bench, trying to figure out how the Saint Conjury happens. And it's like, okay, it's love. This whole episode was building up to this and it was pretty subtle it was just that last part when it was like the blessing is the power of love it's like got it it's been confirmed now that we got the diary and the saints the blessing the power of love out of the way can we talk about landhart that hottie patati oh he got the muscles we got the introduction of Leonhart. I saw the thumbnails for the last episode and this episode. They had Leonhart featured on it. Leonhart wasn't really in the last episode, but he was on this one. And oh boy, he is the older man. He's a mercenary. He's got muscles. We saw Stay looking at his muscles like, wow. Oh, Leonhart is manly. I didn't I was not expecting that because we've seen so many pretty boys. Yes, I'm calling them. I'm calling all the guys from the kingdom pretty boys. This one, Leonhart, is massive. 
feeling. I mean, if Albert has the muscles, I need to see it because I I don't see Albert's muscles. I see Lanhart's muscles. And oh dear, someone in the comments asked, "Can you see Say Ship with anyone else?" And I was like, uh, "I guess I could see her." with Earhart, Albert's brother. But now that I saw Leonhardt, I'm like, Leonhardt! Ooh, say, if you don't... If it doesn't work out with Albert, girl, go with Leonhardt. If you don't go with him, I'll go with him. And the last part I want to talk about is the Closet Remains wanting to rejuvenate the land. They were requesting, say, to rejuvenate the land because they were low on herbs. I assumed that their herb supply was low because... The monsters were hindering the maintenance and the harvesting of the herbs, but it seems like the land is becoming barren and they're getting close to having like famine and such. I'm wondering if the miasma is causing that. Is the miasma sucking out the life force from the land, which is causing the low production of herbs? Now, they want, say, to bless the land to rejuvenate it. I'm wondering if it's to rejuvenate the land and also clear out the miasma. And that's my review of The Saints Magic Power is OP episode 10. What did you think about the episode? What did you think about this video? Let me know in the comments below. And if you want to talk outside of YouTube, there's a Discord. The Discord link is available in the description. I also stream on twitch.tv slash Superfina. People who watch these videos do like to stop by the stream, have that one-on-one -on -one real-time conversation, so you guys are more than welcome. Outside of YouTube and Twitch, I host podcasts across worlds where you talk about anime, manga, and other things we're interested in. If you like podcasts like that, links to the podcast is in the description. We are available on all platforms. Other than that, my name is Lehua, and this is the Superfina channel, reviewing The Saints Magic Pirate is OP, episode 10. Hope you guys like this video, and I'll see you on the next one. Laters! Huge thanks to my Patreons and channel members for making this video possible. If you also want to be part of the Superfina party, you can click over here or become a channel member. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next video. And I do stream live on Twitch every Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Hope to see you guys there and I will see you on the next video. This bump.